Hi everybody! Thanks for watching the Mask Toolbox unboxing video. I'm Nils and I work for the Federal Agency for Technical Relief, THW, which is the Civil Protection Agency of Germany. And I do this since more than 10 years and the last five years of my work focus very much on the overall topic Mass Shelter. What does Mass Shelter mean and what is this toolbox all about? Let me start with the abbreviation MASK, which stands for Mass Shelter Capability. It was born, if you may say so, back in 2014 in the UK. The Northern Hampshire County Council approached THW and other partners to join an EU co-funded project MASK. The overall objective was to look into scenarios where European citizens are displaced in their own country, for example, due to a natural or technical disaster like floods or a malfunction in a nuclear power plant. However, it was realized by all project partners that the results need to be transformed into a more operational guidance. Therefore, THW decided to apply for another EU co-funded project and partnered up with old and new project partners. For this second project, which ran in 2017 and 18, we got the UN agency, the International Organization for Migration, IOM, on board, which boosted the overall process a lot. And this was a milestone by itself, as it was the first time that a UN agency was a full project partner in an EU co-funded project. Altogether, more than 140 participants from 32 countries were involved in the two projects. They participated in different workshops and expert groups. And the results of this second project is the Mass Toolbox. Enough of the history. Let's go and open the toolbox. Every user will find this document as the very first document in the toolbox. It says read me first and it will answer the very first question everyone has. What is the Mask Toolbox? And the answer is this toolbox is designed to support mayors municipal and local authorities, civil protection agencies, and others to prepare for and to respond to situations where a significant proportion of the population requires temporary shelter. Additionally, some sub-questions are also answered, like why is a toolbox needed, who might use it, when might it be used, and what type of settlements is covered by this toolbox. Additionally, at the end of this very small document, there are also cross-cutting considerations for the overall situation of mass shelter. Let's have a closer look into the box itself. As you can see here, it is divided into two parts, in the upper part and in the lower part. In the upper part, you will find six booklets, which are representing the disaster management cycle, starting with awareness, preparedness, assessment, mobilization, response, and closure. And they are having a specific color code, which is mirrored also in the lower part of the box. And in the lower part of the box, you will find the folder with the different individual tools. So how does it work together? The booklets do describe in short and easy words what is contained in the worksheet folder for each and every phase. And if you could see here, there are the phases also in the same color coding as the booklets. And the individual tools themselves do have also a color code frame so that everybody exactly knows to which phase it belongs, even if you mix it up. The separation of the documents has the following rational. The smaller booklets give the reader a kind of an introduction into the phases. It contains overall explanation and some hints. Whereas the tools the reader usually would work with are separated and they might be used as standalone, meaning that they could be put out of the box without reading the booklet. And the reason to have them individual is that every reader or user could decide either to take the full mass toolbox and to use it or to just take individual tools. This brings me to the general question, are the tools ready to be used directly? Yes and no. Some tools might work if you pull them out of the box and use them directly. For instance, 
This decision-making tool for decision-makers needs no adaptation and could be directly used. Some might work with a little bit of adaptation to the local circumstances. This means that the mass toolbox is giving opportunity to cross-check own plans, potentially update or correct them. In other words, the box is not the one solution fits all. However, it gives a lot of hints and guidance for a lot of issues regarding to mass shelter. But it requires the users uh, working with the box and adapt the different tools to their circumstances. Additionally, you will find in this toolbox also the USB stick. And on this USB stick, you will find all the documents you can see right here, the booklets and also the worksheets in a digital format. And it could be downloaded from the portal of the European Response Coordination Center, the so-called ESCC portal. The documents are available in an editable version, meaning they are available in a usual office format and they are also available in ready-to-be-print version, meaning in PDF format. This allows everyone to easily reproduce the box in an A4 format, even with a common office printer. To shortly summarize, the MAS toolbox is not a one-size-fits-all solution, but it is a very good starting point for your planning in regard to mass shelter situations. It is free of charge and it was developed in a four years project with the expertise of 32 countries and organizations. If you have any questions or if you need further information, don't hesitate to contact either the European Commission, DG ECHO, the International Organization for Migration, or us, the Federal Agency for Technical Relief, THW, in Germany. Thank you very much for watching the unboxing video of the Mars Toolbox.